Well, shalom, friends. It's Wednesday, June 8th, 2023. I haven't uh, posted a video in a while because uh, my editing software has got some issues with it, and uh, I really like to do edits on my videos lately, but uh, I figured the Lord's just been putting so much on my heart lately, I better just go ahead and do the videos anyway and uh, not edit out all the stuff that I would normally edit out, like my ums and ahs and, <laughs> you know, different miscellaneous things that just make the video too long. So I'll try to be brief today and be as concise as I can. But uh, the Lord has put my on my heart this morning uh, both Psalm 103, Psalm 130, and then the Lord spoke to my wife this morning uh, about Psalm 8. So I'm just going to read those, and as things come to mind as I'm reading them, I may, uh, I may bring some things out. But uh, let's start with Psalm 103. And this is the New King James Version. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. And I want to stop here just briefly. I want to just say, in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus, our Messiah, you are healed. You are set free. You are delivered. You are forgiven and just invite you to receive all those benefits that he has offered through this, his sacrifice on the cross 2,000 years ago. God bless you. The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. And there's a lot of Israelis being oppressed right now by Hamas and uh, other similar forces um, backed by Iran, uh, Hezbollah in the north, and the Houthis in Yemen, and, and other, uh, other terrorist organizations. But uh, just agree with me that, that God will do his word, you know, and he's, he's in, encouraged us to uh, come alongside of his word and agree with it and proclaim it and call it into being. You know, he said that life and death are in the power of the tongue. So let's proclaim life over Israel and over those innocent civilians, uh, wherever they may be coming from, whether they're, you know, Palestinians, whether they're other, other Muslims, whether they're, whatever. Uh, let's just proclaim uh, his love and grace and mercy is available to them too. And that if they will just turn to him, they would receive abundant mercy and forgiveness and healing and cleansing from all their sins. Got a little bit of a wind here today, so I, I'm hoping it's not interfering with the audio too much. Um, he made known his ways to Moses, verse 7, his acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. You know, we all deserve hell for what we've done, and many might have a hard time with that, but we all deserve hell. We all deserve an eternity separated from him because of, of our sins, regardless of how big or how small they are. Um, you know, he, he demands perfection, and he's made the way for us to be perfected through Messiah Yeshua. For as the heavens are high above the earth, if you look up, well, you're going to have to look up outside. You probably can't see much except the house here. But if you look up, <laughs> the heavens are pretty high. They've not been able to be measured yet, the fullness of them. So great is his mercy toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. You realize that? You know, he has removed our transgressions as far as the east is from the west. And you can keep going east all day long or go west all day long. And you will never, never, never arrive 
at east. It will never stop. If you keep going eastward, it will never stop being east. And if you never, if you go west and you never uh, stop going west, you'll, you'll never get any more than west. <laughs> you know, turn around and you're going east. But if you keep going the same direction, you're, you're, you're going either east or west. You're never going both directions at the same time. That's how far he separates our sins from us because of the cross, because of the sacrifice that Yeshua paid for us on the cross. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. And if you've had a father or mother or other guardian uh, who has not treated you like a godly father or mother should, just know that our Heavenly Father is not like that. Our Heavenly Father is so much more gracious than, than uh, some of our earthly uh, parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles and cousins and other relatives, or, or those that, you know, whether maybe orphanages, maybe some of you don't remember your parents, you, were, you know, they died or abandoned you or whatever, you know, but our Heavenly Father is not like that. He doesn't abandon us. You know, He's got great plans for us, plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give us a future and a hope. So look to him. He will not let you down. Look to him. You know. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it and is gone, and its place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to, to children's children, to, keep, to, to such as keep his covenant and to those who remember his commandments to do them. So there's, we, have a, we have some obligation there. God desires us to keep his commandments and there are blessings in keeping his commandments. And where we fall short, there's his, there is mercy and grace, but he doesn't want us to keep, um, keep living you know, in, in sinful ways. He wants to see us delivered and set free from those sinful ways. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, you his angels who excel in strength, who do his word. And that word angels there is actually the word Elohim, uh, which is God. So this is, he's speaking about us as, as little gods. Jesus says in another place, Yeshua says in another place, you know, have I not said in the scriptures that you are gods? You know, we, we have been made a little lower than, than God himself. You know, not the angels in heaven. We've been made lower than, than, a little lower than God himself. You know, we will judge angels, scripture says. So we're not lower than the angels. The angel, angels are lower than us. The angels serve us. Um, and I'm, I'm just so thankful for that. You know, Yeshua could have called 10,000 legions of angels to deliver him from the cross. Thankfully, he didn't do that or we'd be hopeless. But uh, he has given his angels charge over us to protect us and keep us in all of our ways. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. That's Psalm 103. Now let's go over to Psalm 130. This is a little shorter. Out of the depths I have cried to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, should mark iniquities, O oh Lord, who could stand? In other words, you know, if he really kept track of things, if there was no Yeshua to, to cleanse us and forgive us of our sin, you know, and we had to answer for all of them, nobody could stand. We can only stand through, through the shed blood of Yeshua. But there is forgiveness with you that you may be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul, my soul, excuse me, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I do hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning. Yes, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord. And I, I say amen to that. Um, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from...
from all his iniquities. You know, so let's stand in agreement with that, that even though Israel has, has uh, sinned and, and fallen way short of God's glory, as much as they have tried to be obedient, many of them have tried to be obedient, you know, they have, they have still fallen short. So let's, uh, let's pray that uh, the Lord would really have his way with the natural children of Israel and with the spiritual uh, grafted in children that we are in Messiah. Okay, here's Psalm 8, and it also is relatively short. It says, To the chief musician on the instrument of, of Gat, a psalm of David, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth, who have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have ordained strength because of your enemies, that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? For you may have made him a little lower than the angels. There it is again. Now that word is, is um, you know, again, Elohim. You have made, a little, made him a little lower than Elohim, our God. And you are crowned, and, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea that pass through the paths of the sea. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. So I, I can't really add much to that. I know sometimes I try, <laughs> but I can't add much to that. The word speaks for itself. So God bless you all. If there's anything we can specifically pray for you regarding uh, whatever kind of need you may be having, uh, we would just want to agree with you in prayer. So feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, be happy to respond. Or you can uh, send us an email at rcfisch5w20 at gmail.com. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day in Messiah Yeshua. Shalom.